Welcome to Ion Paulsboro. This week's program comes to you from uh, Paulsboro High School, of course, celebrating its centennial year of 100 years. We're in what would have been the new wing for those old enough to remember, built in 1967. We're in uh, Margaret Ledoux's art class, and uh, it's going to be a fun visit here. Irma, today is February 8th, and it's got to be 65 degrees outside. It is very hot, John. Very hot. Getting ready for the wrestling match tonight, Paulsboro semifinals of our Group 1s. And what we have today is going to be great, and I'd love to come back in the hallowed halls of Paulsboro. It's a comfortable place to be. We've got an interesting program. The port is getting very close to receiving its first ship. Kevin Castanola, who is the executive director of the South Jersey Port Corporation, is going to visit with us for sort of a pre-opening uh, coming of attractions. And we've got a little bit of footage to show you as well. And uh, a few other guests, uh, a few surprises walking on. Stay with us. We're coming right back. Multi-policy discount. Paperless discount. Paid in full discount. Homeowner's discount. Safe driver discount. Chipmunk family reunion. Someone stole the nuts. Squirrel jail. Justice. Countless discounts. Now that's progressive. Call or click today. Thinking about a new appliance or an LCD TV? Don't think twice, think Weiss. Weiss True Value has a full line of LCD TVs plus a great variety of appliances. And of course, hardware items like True Test Paints, Master Mechanic Tools, Electrical Supplies, Key Duplicating, and Rug Doctor Rentals. And for repairs on screens and windows, look no further. Weiss True Value, from making keys to selling appliances and LCD TVs. Don't think twice, think Weiss. 39 West Broad Street, Paulsboro. For everything, there's a season, and a time for everything under heaven. A time for sharing, a time for caring, a time for remembering, and a time for parting. When that time arrives, let Beth McBride Foley and Thomas D. Foley at the McBride Foley Funeral Home help you in your time of need. Offering a wide variety of funeral services from cremation to traditional, McBride Foley Funeral Home has been helping families with the loss of a loved one with over 50 years of combined service. McBride Foley Funeral Home, 228 West Broad Street, Paulsboro. And welcome back. Uh, with me now is Kevin Castanola. I always mispronounce his last name a little bit. Uh, Kevin and I and Senator Sweeney share a very, very special honor. All three of us at one time were recognized by the Sons of Italy a statewide organization as the uh, their awardee for the Man of the Year. It was a great honor. In fact, Kevin asked me to speak at his event, which I think was last year, wasn't it, Kevin? It runs it, together. It was last year. It's only been a few months ago, believe it or not. Time yeah. flies. It just runs together. A little bit of background. Uh, many of you remember seeing Joe Balzano on this show. Joe, of course, was the father of the South Jersey Port Corporation, a big driver, and saying this could work in Paulsburg. Kevin was at his right hand for many years, and when we sadly lost Joe, uh, Kevin uh, was named to succeed him, and uh, and it was the right choice. And uh, he works very hard at it, and he has a big vision of what this river can be. So, Kevin, now here we are. We're literally weeks before the ship, first ship arriving, and although phase one is being declared complete, it really isn't quite complete, but it's complete enough to go to work. Yeah, we're just about done, phase one, John. Um, we're almost there, but we're ready to handle our first ship. Uh, we're very close, a couple weeks. Everybody's excited about it. We've been waiting for this day. It's kind of long overdue, and I think this is the first of many ships that will call here and to continue to expand on our phase one and what we call phase two and three and, and get this moving and, and continue to bring ships here. The infrastructure, because you have quarterbacked the Camden facilities, and of course that in part was inherited from the New York shipyard. This is built from ground up. This is a blank canvas. This has been said many times by the Senate President, myself, and Kevin. Uh, people, I think, are interested in some of the basics. There's three miles of rail on the site. Yeah, we uh, knowing what we've learned from our facilities in Camden, which were we had to make work and, and squeeze the footprint into what you know what we had and make things work. Here we got the blank canvas, as you referred it to, and we were able to build the suit. Lo learn what we learned in Camden and figure out how to make it better here from a blank footprint and make it the most efficient, state-of-the-art facility on the Delaware River. And, and as you think about this, the first piece, there are two more sections of the wharf to be built. That's what the, the plan calls for. This first piece is 800 feet long, so that's, what, three almost three football fields. And that in itself is not big enough. No, that basically is going to hold one vessel at a time. So we need to continue to build out if we're going to attract new business here, which we're, we're looking at uh, diligently. Uh, we want to continue to try to get more funding uh, with the Senate president's help and uh, continue to build this facility out the way everyone envisioned it, including Joe Balzano, yourself, and the Senate president. 
A couple, a couple of the intricacies. Of course, everyone knows there's an overpass over the creek, so truck traffic won't be in town, which is so very important. The rail stuff fascinates me, Kevin, because particularly this first customer that's coming uh, will utilize the rail. There's even an apparatus that takes pictures of the rail cars going out uh, so they see how they're loaded. Yeah, this uh, this rail facility uh, we built, obviously, for the first customer we knew was coming, although we had rail on the plan to begin with. We just expanded it and made it uh, more efficient uh, and more state-of-the-art for the needs of the customer. So all the initial business coming in, which is about 1.3 million tons of steel slabs, is all going to go out by rail. So there'll be very, very little truck traffic to start. But the rail we put in, we designed with the railroad Norfolk Southern, the local railroads, uh, the customer, the importer, and we built it to a, a situation that is probably one of a kind almost at this point, uh, with air stations, cameras to view, picture all the cars and make sure they're loaded properly. So everything we did here on this facility with the rail is, is state of the art. I think most importantly, the rail is designed to go from ground level right on to the wharf and come off of the wharf and continue in a loop, which means efficiency. And for business people, uh, that's a big deal. And by the way, the concrete wharf, it's all cement, almost eight, what was it, almost 800 piles. It was about 850 piles for 850 foot. But, you know, we need a heavy weight load to handle the business we handle here and also the other piles to make sure it can handle the biggest ships uh, without crumbling. So, yeah, it's a very well supported pier. Um, it's built very well. It's completely concrete. All the piles of concrete. Uh, so, you know, we did it the right way. And uh, a lot of people called that site home. A lot of jobs happened through the construction. A lot of families fed. It's all part of the reason for driving these regional projects, as the Senate president has said many times. So next time we talk about the port, we will be welcoming the first ship with that ceremony. Kevin will be very prominent in that, by the way. And uh, there'll be more updates as we go and more work to be done. Stay with us. We're coming right back. Life is a journey that we travel with a lot of uncertainty. When your family is faced with change and you're in need of understanding, direction, honesty, and professionalism, we at the Landoffy Funeral Home have a tradition of assisting you with all of your needs in any way that we can. We offer many affordable funeral services. Please feel free to call us with any questions you may have or visit us at www.landoffyfuneralhome.com. Rizzo Family Chiropractic Center in Gibstown offers pain relief with a difference. Using specific chiropractic adjustments, Rizzo Family Chiropractic will get to the root of your problem quickly. Bring your headaches, neck, back, joint, or limb pain to Dr. Karen Rizzo. If you have recurring pain, chiropractic can help. Rizzo Family Chiropractic can relieve many sources of pain without extended treatment and ongoing therapy. Give your family the gift of caring professional pain relief with a difference. Rizzo Family Chiropractic. Come on down Route 55 to the Millville Airport. Visit Smith & Jackson Military Antiques and Firearms, a gun shop with a woman's touch. Buying, selling, and trading firearms and military items, especially seeking World War II, German, Japanese, and American items. Buying single items or entire collections. That's Smith & Jackson Military Antiques and Firearms at the Millville Airport, 21 Peterson Street, next to the Glastown Brewing Company. And welcome back. Uh, with me now is the Mayor of Paulsburg, Gary Stevenson. We always like to have the mayor on as uh, his schedule permits for general updates. So, Gary, first of all, welcome to the show again. Thank you. you got John. demolition on Delaware Street, and you got an update on a supermarket, and both of those are good stories. Good stories. Um, you know, our thing about tearing down first before we can rebuild. Um, the building on uh, Delaware Street, I guess it's the eight, 900 block, is being torn down. It was an eyesore for years, and hopefully working with those owners, we can get a, another business in there. But we've taken down an eyesore that just kills the neighborhood, kills that whole street. And we're, we got a few more to tear down in our town. We got about five or six. We got lined up, do some final hearings, and people are going to see a lot of those old eyesores down very soon. Well, not, not, to, not to go into too many details, but with that building being torn down on Delaware Street and the other acquisitions that happened around the railroad tracks, if the light rail comes to Glassburg, which is anticipated, maybe we can talk them into a spur off coming down through Paulsburg down to Pure Land. So that, that, that could be a very significant uh, piece of ground there, Gary. It's all about jobs and making Paulsburg move forward and look, making the town look a lot better. And progress. The plaza, for many people, a curiosity of what's taking so long. Well, a few things happened, and uh, you've been hands-on on that. Yes, I've been working with the developers on that. Uh, Mr. English. Unfortunately, you know, we had a developer that passed away and that slowed everything up. There was money issues on their end. Finally, all that stuff's been straightened out. Then uh, Robert English has taken over the project. We're moving a lot forward. Um, he's got tenants all for, um, for his buildings now. 
He's working on the save a lot. The equipment's been ordered, refrigeration, contract signed with save a lot. Um, they were all in this week putting new floors in, getting new lighting in. All that stuff's coming. He's setting up to tear down the, the old grants. I'm old enough to remember it when it's grants. Yeah. The ice cream store, parking lot fix. All this stuff's moving forward. You know, we got businesses coming into town. We're rehabbing houses. They're going to go on the market very soon. We're, you know, we're moving forward. Good progress all the way around. It's a visit with Mayor Stevenson, a quick update. But two most important things, you're on Delaware Street. There's no longer a building there. That's good. And uh, schedule-wise, I think uh, English is talking maybe April on the supermarket. Yeah, we're looking at April, um, end of April for it to open up. And in the next few weeks, we're going to be announcing a job fair for that through the county, through um, offices that you control. Uh, the business center is going to open up there through help with the county. County, state, local, we're all working together to keep this going. And, uh, yeah, uh, we'll announce the job fair. There'll be signs through social media on our website. I'm sure it'll get out. Yeah, it's going to be good stuff. Good report. We'll be right back. Multi-policy discount. Paperless discount. Paid in full discount. Homeowners discount. Safe driver discount. Chipmunk family reunion. Someone stole the nuts. Squirrel jail. Justice. Countless discounts. Now that's progressive. Call or click today. Thinking about a new appliance or an LCD TV? Don't think twice. Think Weiss. Weiss True Value has a full line of LCD TVs plus a great variety of appliances. And of course, hardware items like True Test Paints, Master Mechanic Tools, Electrical Supplies, Key Duplicating, and Rug Doctor Rentals. And for repairs on screens and windows, look no further. Weiss True Value, from making keys to selling appliances and LCD TVs. Don't think twice, think Weiss. 39 West Broad Street, Paulsboro. For everything, there's a season, and a time for everything under heaven. A time for sharing, a time for caring, a time for remembering, and a time for parting. When that time arrives, let Beth McBride Foley and Thomas D. Foley at the McBride Foley Funeral Home help you in your time of need. Offering a wide variety of funeral services from cremation to traditional, McBride Foley Funeral Home has been helping families with the loss of a loved one with over 50 years of combined service. McBride Foley Funeral Home, 228 West Broad Street, Paulsboro. And welcome back once again. Uh, we have a loaded program, so lots of short segments, but we have to catch up. Because of my schedule, we haven't been able to shoot up to this point. With me now is Alphonse Jampola. Alphonse serves in two roles. He, of course, serves on the governing body as a council person and also serves as uh, the fire chief. So we're going to talk to him as capacity of fire chief. In fact, when we had Gary on, I forgot to, again, mention to him, he banged on the door at the fire we're going to talk about to alert that person their house was on fire. They had no idea it was on fire. So, Alphonse, let's, let's start with the fire because uh, – Broad Street was tied up, it goes back a couple of weeks ago, uh, but ended up being quite a working fire. Yes, um, it was early morning, it was still a cold, uh, chilly morning. Snow, yeah. Yeah. Um, Mayor Stevenson, in doing his thing, he was leaving, I, I believe, your house. Yep. You guys were on your way to Trenton, and uh, he seen the smoke, investigated it, found the house, banged on the door, got the lady out. Um, during the fire, there was a uh, for those who remember the building, the older ones, that was Dr. Hunter's building. Um, there was two entrances to it, and it was chopped up on the one side where it used to be, I guess, his waiting rooms and, uh, and, and patient rooms. So it was, it was a little tough getting around. Once we got in and tried to get to the fire, the back of the house started to collapse. So at that point, we had to bring out the guys that were inside, and we went to Master Streams. We had uh, four ladders that were in town, uh, Swedesboro. West Efforts, uh, Vergas, or um, Westville's, and Gippstown's um, that, that we had up. And we also had Defford Township here. Woodbury Heights was here. We had a lot of the surrounding communities that helped us with that uh, with the fire. You have to have so many people to, to be able to work a, a working house fire. All in all, the gentleman from the South Jersey uh, Gas Company, he's recovering from a minor uh, incident that he had, uh, he had some chest pains when he was shutting off the gas, so he, he was the only injury uh, of note. No firemen or people in the house were injured, uh, but he's doing well now, they tell me, at South Jersey Gas. Uh, he'll be back to work shortly. Um, but it, 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 was, it was a, as the day went on, you started getting warmer as, you know, our, our weird winter's going. Uh, but it, it, we had a lot of hose stretched out. We had hose that went out from 
if if the, you know where the fire is at at Hunter, uh, Doc Hunter's old place, we went out the back alley around and around the firehouse over to Swedesboro Avenue with a five inch line, and Deffert was pumping uh, that five inch line for a water supply. So it was a, it was a pretty massive undertaking uh, for for the guys, and then we had to pick it all up. Well, by the way, it was also a good save on the adjoining houses. Those houses are close together, and that fire was really rolling at the back at the back of the house. Yes. So you know it did very well, and that, that actually brings to the next point because. As the chief said, uh, you, I counted eight fire companies. That doesn't include those that were maybe a little bit of a distance that were on hand. So it was almost, you know, a third of the county response. And that's in large part, chief, if I'm not mistaken, it's about a manpower issue. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you're talking that the, the fire went off at 7 in the morning. There's there's nobody around. Uh, you know, everybody's working, doing, uh, you know, they have to take care of their family. So they're working, they're at work, or they were on night work. They just got home from work. So, yeah, manpower issue becomes you have to depend on your brother, uh, your, your neighboring town, to be able to get the manpower that you need. And that brings me to the point, if you're seeing signs around town that say volunteers needed, that's for the fire company. How's that program going? It's meeting with minimal, uh, uh, medium success. Uh, we have about uh, four, f- five as of yesterday uh, that have put their applications in. It's not hard. You know, when, when you can come out is when you can come out. But we need the bodies. We need we need the help. There's always hose that has to be picked up. You don't have to run through the front door of a fire. You can help sweep. You can roll up hose. There's so many things. You can drive the fire truck. You can pump the fire truck. So many aspects of doing it that, that we need help on. Directing traffic. Whatever you can help us with is would be greatly appreciated. And greatly appreciated by the community at large, by the way. If we had to pay the volunteer firemen, if they were paid firemen, you could figure another two, three million dollars worth of expenses. It's not inexpensive to do this if you can volunteer uh, and you have an interest in it. You should contact the chief. And what's the phone number, chief? 856 423 2121. Leave a message on the machine. I'll get it, or Larry Moran will get it. There are also benefits to being a volunteer firefighter. We do, we do give shirts out to our guys like this here. We, we, we supply them with a clothing allowance once a year of 100 hours, and there's LOSAP, a length of service awards program, which is $1,150 a year that goes into a similar to a 401k. So it's not without benefit. Uh, they can, they if you can add it. They can add it. Yes. Very good. Chief Alfonso and Paul, a little update on the fire company and, and the fire on Broad Street. Excellent effort by everyone, by the way. And uh, no serious injuries, no animals lost. I think the house is probably lost, isn't it, Alfonso? They, tear down? they tell me that uh, the owner is going to tear, it's going to be torn down by the insurance company. Uh, I just heard from a construction official uh, about that. Uh, so that'll happen probably in the next couple of weeks. Very nice family, by the way. Homeowners, been there for a while. Nice neighbors. Stay with us. We're coming right back. Welcome to Skin Friends, a comfort store offering natural and organic products. We are your home for aromatherapy, boasting a huge collection of essential oils, burning oils, body and massage oils, hand-dipped incense, and exotic bacores. Looking for body butters? Come see our handsome butter bar stocked with mango, aloe vera, and shea butters. Skin Friends features black seed oil and moringa products. We carry natural topical pain relieving ointments and over 40 types of natural soaps. Tucked away in the Gibbstown Shopping Plaza off exit 17 on 295 in New Jersey, Skin Friends has hand-picked products you can count on. And welcome back. Once again, as I mentioned at the top of the show, we're here at Paulsbar High School in the art department, art class, uh, with uh, teacher extraordinaire Margaret Ledoux, who has been here for a number of years and frankly made an impact, a beautiful mural outside when you come to outside events. Uh, I recall that she helped put that together. And recently, this class, her students, achieved a national recognition and actually earned $5,000 in a program. So thank you. Thank you, Margaret, for having us. Uh, and thanks for staying because you have to drive to Ocean City. Yes, I do. So... What did you guys build? We built a slurpit serpent. Um, yes. It's a sea monster. So let me let me give you a little bit of um, information here. Oh, good. Keep on it. The contest is sponsored by a company called Evergreen Packaging. Um, it's run mm-hmm. yearly, and it's a milk carton building contest. And there's a different theme every year. This fall, the theme was inventions, and the 
basis of the contest is to uh, raise awareness about recycling. So we used school milk cartons that are recycled from our school lunches. And we are, they're cleaned and then they're cr torn up or cut and turned into sculptures. So when we were contemplating what to make, you know, build, what kind of invention to build, um, I had a thought that we would do a new invention that is actually being marketed right now by a good friend of mine. It's called a Slurpit, and it's a biodegradable um, thing that you put in polluted waterways, and it actually eats the pollution. Um, there's bacteria inside that eat the pollution, so it's it's an amazing new invention. And since that has to do with ecology and the contest had to do with ecology, we thought we would build that. And their logo is a sea serpent. So that's what we built. It was 12 feet long and um, we had to submit pictures of it. And we ended up getting an email soon after that we won the grand prize, which was $5,000. Yeah, 170 or 180 entries from all over the United States. I was stunned when I saw it because it was in print media and, and, and electronic media. And I, sorry it took us so long to get here because it's really a very big accomplishment. And this is a high school, of course, known for athletics. There's yeah. a whole lot of other things going on here. And that's why we like to talk about these sort of things. So that's a wonderful idea. Thank you. And we appreciate your coming and giving us some time. No, please. It's wonderful. This is the class behind. You see you see the check? So that's the not check the real check. The, mail today. the check really arrived well, today? They're coming on Friday to do the presentation. And a week from Friday, um, Freeholder Jefferson is coming to give them citations. So we're very excited about all the attention we're getting. And Freeholder Jefferson's a lot of fun, by the way. Yes, There's I know. a lot of fun. We are visiting with Margaret Ledoux and her art class here at Paulsboro High School, having gained national attention uh, with, a, with, with their project and being awarded $5,000. Wonderful news. Good project for these young people, too, by the way. We'll be right back. Okay. Life is a journey that we travel with a lot of uncertainty. When your family is faced with change and you're in need of understanding, direction, honesty, and professionalism, we at the Landoffy Funeral Home have a tradition of assisting you with all of your needs in any way that we can. We offer many affordable funeral services. Please feel free to call us with any questions you may have or visit us at www.landoffyfuneralhome.com. Rizzo Family Chiropractic Center in Gibstown offers pain relief with a difference. Using specific chiropractic adjustments, Rizzo Family Chiropractic will get to the root of your problem quickly. Bring your headaches, neck, back, joint, or limb pain to Dr. Karen Rizzo. If you have recurring pain, chiropractic can help. Rizzo Family Chiropractic can relieve many sources of pain without extended treatment and ongoing therapy. Give your family the gift of caring professional pain relief with a difference. Rizzo Family Chiropractic. Come on down Route 55 to the Millville Airport. Visit Smith & Jackson Military Antiques and Firearms, a gun shop with a woman's touch. Buying, selling, and trading firearms and military items, especially seeking World War II, German, Japanese, and American items. Buying single items or entire collections. That's Smith & Jackson Military Antiques and Firearms at the Millville Airport, 21 Peterson Street, next to the Glastown Brewing Company. Welcome back. It's time for Community Notes with Irma Stevenson. Before that, hello, Beth, because I know you're watching because you were mad at me because we didn't have a new show. Irma, it's all yours. John, we were busy. and it's my fault. Just... Well, no, and then next week, Walter and I go to Florida for three weeks. I'll have my bikini. <laughs> yeah, okay. But anyway. Um, it's no longer a sanctuary state, by the way. Or Miami's not a sanctuary city. Oh, geez, John. I guess I'll have to take my one piece. <laughs> yeah. uh, I like to show, this is part of our artwork here in our school. I'm Beautiful. so proud of them. They have these many. I said, oh, we need to have a shoulder bag on this one. Okay. Happy birthdays to Wayne Farrow, Raylan Stevenson, Maria Chilo Chilu, Claudia Marina, Crystal Fox, Ann Lytle Daly, Kelly Bedeni Jones, Madeline Cordetti, Gwen Gill, Stacey Pellegrino, Kristen Potts, Lynette Milanese, Pam Simpson, uh, Diane Bay, uh, Shirley Kid Reed, Joey Duca, P. Palacino, Steve Hunkler, Lee Campbell, Haley Mogar, and Adina Giovanetti, the matriarch of the Giovanetti family. <laughs> and happy anniversaries to Pe uh, Patty and Joe Sabatini, Pete and uh, Kathy Palacino and Joe and Sue Enos. Happy birthdays and anniversaries. And John, Little League season's coming up, even though it's February and we have snow. Pause for Little League registration starting Thursday, uh, January 26th, 6 p. to 8 p. above the concession stand. Then they will be held Thursday and Friday, 6 p. to 8 p. Uh, and Saturdays, 11 p. to 2 p. 
following the end date is 3-11. So come on, our Little Leaguers. Please watch the Paulsburg Little League Facebook page for further information. Coaches are needed. And, uh, John, this is our kids. Uh, they need to come out and play sports. They don't need to sit there and play the video games all the time. Come out and be a future uh, uh, football, uh, baseball star. And by the way, <laughs> yes, and you can do both. You can play baseball yeah. and play the video games, too. Amy's saying to wrap it up for Amy Cook behind the camera for Fred Bulkter, who couldn't be here today, for our producer, Bill Crane, who also couldn't be here today. Yeah. Uh, that's going to do it. John, um, God bless America. See you on Broad Street and go Big Red Wrestling. We hope the next show is going to come from the grand opening of the port. Until next time.